what's going on YouTube this is Midnight Club Gamer here again with some more Red Dead Redemption gameplay for the PS3 and uh, we're doing a little bit of gang matches and this one is grab the bag uh, there's pretty much a treasure or a gold bag pops up in the middle of the map and both teams from both sides have to go in and capture it and bring it back to their chest which is kind of like their home base uh, we were all playing with our uh, pretty much everybody in this game was part of the war clan uh, not all of them were I don't think but most of them were and um, we're just having a good time uh, we lose a shootout which is a tick uh, but I was playing with uh, Saltine Cracker he's the uh, war clan leader uh, all up in uh, 84 uh, paper pavilion pearly I don't know I don't know how to spell her name um, but we are having a pretty good time. I forgot who else was us. But, um, yeah, we are having a pretty good time going around. Uh, this is for the PS3. The you might know already. And, um, uh, my name's MP5 Avenger on the PS3 as well. So, then grab the bag. You get one, uh, one weapon, one pistol, and one rifle. Now you drop the bag. And... That's pretty much all you use for the whole game, and everybody gets that certain weapon. It, it just evens out the gameplay, so nobody has overpowered weapons the over you, and the ranks don't really matter. Um, but you can find uh, weapons in the game, like there will be a weapon in this match right now, in a crate that you can open, the and you'll get it. I think uh, All Up Inya 84 had a, had a rapid fire pistol. And somebody else had a, a semi-auto shotgun, which I found surprising. I actually got killed by it. I was like, "What the heck?" Open. But uh, this game's pretty fun. If you have, if you have Hawkabilly, you know, it just it just makes the game a little bit more intense. If you're just playing against other random people, it's not as fun. I find uh, that's that's pretty much just any game. And uh, I find the coolest thing is the bags the bags get put put in by like a huge lightning bolt. I got hit by that one. Um, so you see me here. I'm running back. And uh, when you pick up the bags, they slow you down. And uh, the more you pick up, the more you'll slow down at running. And uh, I get the first capture, which is pretty sweet. And now I'm using the Springfield rifle. And me and Saltine kill each other. Which, uh, I've never done this game. It's, it's pretty hard to kill available. each other. It's just pretty hard. And this is not on hardcore mode. This is just uh, normal mode where you can lock on to the enemy. Um, or could you lock on to the enemy? Yeah, you could lock on to the enemy. Uh, hardcore mode, you can't lock on to the enemy. Like, auto-aim. Which is, which is fine with me. So I get killed there. Salty and Cracker kept killing me. About halfway through this game, I start getting pwned real bad. I, I just like respawn and die. But uh, I get them back after. You'll see up here. Uh, the one nice thing about I like about this game is the guns are the guns are really realistic. Uh, I like the sounds of them. They never messed up the sounds of the guns. They're, they 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 sound real. And the overall scenery of the game is very nice. You see the view distance in the background is very far. Uh, it looks pretty much real life, which is pretty cool. Uh, the more the more good graphics the game has, I find the more enjoyability you'll have with it. Uh, that's not true for some games. Some games are just fun, even if graphics are crappy. But uh, this is where I start getting pwned all up in you with that rapid fire pistol. And I die again after this. But yeah, if anybody wants to join the War Clan uh, for the PS3, uh, we mostly play Red Dead Redemption right now, but we do play Battlefield Back Company 2. Uh, we'll probably get uh, bored of this game after a while, go back to Battlefield. Then a new game will come out, we'll probably buy that. But uh, for now, it's Red Dead Redemption. If you'd like to join, uh, send me a friend request, send me an email. Uh, mp5 avenger or just send me an email on youtube um, that'd be pretty sweet and um yeah you can play with us sometime that'd be pretty cool um 
got really nothing else to say. Pretty much just a game match. Uh, I'm level 40 on this game right now. Um, because Solomon's Folly on the PS3 uh, gets you a lot of points. We just chill out there a lot of times. Uh, Saltine Cracker does a lot of it because he's a... Uh, He's almost le Legend 2. Uh, le legends are pretty much like prestiging on Modern Warfare 2. So you can go to level 50. And if you want to go to Legend, you have to go all the way back down to level 1 and you'll lose all your guns. But you'll keep like your challenge titles. Uh, that's the only thing you keep. Uh, but you do keep your gold guns too. So when you unlock them again, you'll have your gold guns back. Uh, you'll see up here, er uh, up further. Saltine Cracker will kill me with a gold possession. Springfield. Uh, you get a gold gold guns by 100 headshots, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, you see now it's four four nothing for us. Uh, we were we were poning pretty badly, but we we're about to win right here, and I get wiped out. Saltine, here's the gold here's the gold Springfield. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't have any gold guns yet, I don't think. I don't know if it tells you if you got a gold gun or not, but I'm pretty sure I don't have one yet. And this is my strategy for the uh, the gold bag. Th they're going to go back to their base, so I kind of I kind of camped right by the entrance to their base. And as they walked out, I just picked them off, and they would never make it. I'm using the Springfield on this one, just because it has better accuracy, and the pistol would not really do much. Try and get Saltine behind behind that. I almost got taken out by all up in his, um, rapid fire pistol. But he gets wiped out. And then Saltine makes a run for it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Oh. That's what you get for killing me about five times in a row. So we run up. And you see all my teammates are around me? That's, that's for them to guard you. They're kind of like a bodyguard team. Take that guy out. And I'm not really sure when you get a headshot. I think it's when the screen like does this power blurry thing, like right there. Um, I'm not sure though. Like see right there, blurred. I'm pretty sure that was a headshot. So I'm running back with the bag. I just wiped out all those fuels of Springfield. Uh, one tip I'd like to say. When you're shooting uh, rifles, or any gun, right when you're about to shoot, flick up on the right analog stick. And it will aim up just a little bit higher, and it gives you a better chance of getting a headshot. And look at that, all up in you. Know, that, that was just a tick, okay? The bag's like sitting right next to our home base. Uh, but I respawned. I didn't cut out any of the parts where, um, where the, where I die, and that menu comes up because you respawn really quickly, so it really doesn't waste much time. And there you go. We win. What's up? And then I get killed just for good measure. Um, I think I was the highest player. Yep. I'm fixing to break your you win, MP5 Avenger. Like What's up, man? What's up? 250 XP. Uh, you don't get very much XP for these games, but uh, the pure enjoy enjoyability of it's pretty fun. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the gang matches. Uh, I'll see you guys later with some more videos. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to GXP Tube. And also check out my Red Dead Redemption montage, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. Midnight Club Gamer out.